mostly printed CNC. We've got several 3D printed parts out of PETG. I've got the stepper motors installed. I've got the gears installed. Here's the gantry. X and Y. We're actually looking at it in this position here. This will be home. So we have our X and our Y. X is about 36 inches. Y is about 24 inches. And I'll explain what I'm going to use this machine for. Um, I guess first of all, let's go over a couple of components that we're, uh, uh, we're looking at how this thing works. We have a stepper motor, um, two stepper motors actually. There's one there and one here on both the X and the Y positions. And those are going to be installed and, um, or uh, uh, belts will be installed from here over up over the top back down and across the other side i still have to print uh some tensioning brackets uh, for this uh, there'll be in stops switches that go here and here and those are going to be for uh, self-squaring because if you notice it does wiggle a little bit when i move one they do they do wiggle um and then uh so it'll it'll square itself up uh, let's see here. Uh, we got a stepper motor on top, and that runs a lead screw, um, which brings the Z up and down. This is a 300 millimeter lead screw. Um, I have plenty of other parts to build a larger version of this, um, but I wanted to start with the small one first and uh, work my way up from there. Um, let's see what else. Okay, so... So what you can do with this is uh, mount a uh, spindle to it or a router, and then you can uh, carve out or cut out wood. You can actually carve with it. Um, you could carve uh, something into a piece of wood. You can cut aluminum with it. Uh, you can mount a laser head into it, which uh, then you could laser engrave, or you could uh, burn or cut um, you know, thin pieces of plywood. Uh, you can uh, mount... Uh, a, a pen or a sharpie to it and draw with it. Uh, that's one of the things I'm going to do with this um, uh, uh, mostly printed CNC uh, because if you've seen in some previous videos where uh, we were cutting out uh, and um, doing some, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, bead rolling art, um, this was uh, done with an overhead projector uh, from a school which they don't use anymore and then it was projected on the wall then it was traced out and then it was brought over to the bead roller and and then bead rolled and then what you see here is the finished product but there was a lot of steps involved in that where uh, with this machine uh, I can keep the files handy uh, slap a, a, a blank plate in there draw the design of whatever I want to roll out right on here and uh, and then it's uh, it's great for repeatability. I keep them files, and if I want to make several um, uh, uh, several panels of the same uh, thing, I can uh, I can just uh, repeat it. Uh, so that's one thing. Ultimately, what I want to do is build a CNC plasma cutting table. Um, I already have plasma cutter down here. And I'm going to build a larger one of these, not exactly the same, but I'm going to use this machine to build the parts to build the larger machine. Um, and this smaller machine will give me the, um, uh, the uh, practice and the education I need to move forward in learning all of the different types of um, software, hardware that goes along with this sort of stuff. This is a Raspberry Pi. I may or may not use this. This is basically a Linux-based computer. Um, it would be great for this project, dedicated for doing the one thing. And then you've got uh, uh, Uno, a microprocess controller, and I've got tons of uh, sensors. I've got drivers, everything I need to run 
this. I just need to figure out which direction I want to go with the software. So that's going to be coming up in additional videos. Um, I do have a few other things to do. I, I got I to gotta print these tensioners for the belts. Um, I got to print a, uh, a tray uh, for um, cable, a cable chain bracket tray. And then I got to print the cable chain. Um, and that's going to be for cable management. Um, and then I got to get a dedicated piece of MDF for the bottom of this. So it'll, it'll have uh, something to mount to. But um, I made it this size because this is the size of my welding table. Um, that's just what I had. And I figured 3x3 three three is, or 2x3 three is big enough for what I need to do. Um, these panels are 20 inches. Um, I can I can make bigger ones. I can do 24 inch panels if I wanted to. You know, bring these down here and still got plenty of room up here on the on the uh, Y and plenty on the on the on the Z or uh, vice versa. This is a uh, this is Y. This is Z. Anyway, there it is. There's the mostly printed CNC. Um, it's as far as I got. I'm pretty excited about it. I want, uh, uh, I'm going to make a new playlist for this particular project. And uh, I'll get deeper into detail uh, with this as we go along. But uh, this is how far I've gotten so far.